Feeling our face really quick. Yeah, you know, very like getting ready. slightly actually. Yeah. Ow! So, like, roll. Your face looks so little compared to me and Kinsey's face. <laughs> Alright, wow, I haven't filmed with you in a while. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Subscribe down below. I'm here with two of my best friends! <laughs> Morgan and Kenzie came to Athens this weekend to be college students again. Well, she's a college student, but like, I'm just yeah. sort of reliving. 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 And I just want, it's fall here and we're just having ourselves a little fall weekend. So, we thought we'd do a little fall get ready with me. Do you guys want to tell them about the videos that we're doing on y'all's channels? Kenzie? Yeah. Sure. We're doing hot sea on mine, so we're grilling each other. That'll be fun. <laughs> and on mine, we're doing a Would You Rather, so just a little game. It's gonna be a fun, fun time. Yeah. So I'll have their channels linked down below. You guys probably already know who they are, but if you don't, subscribe to their channels. They're amazing people, very inspiring, very productive. Love her. Love you guys. <laughs> so I'll have their videos linked down below that we're doing for their channels. We're gonna film videos all this weekend. And follow us on Instagram too for some premium content. Oh, we've had some premium. Premium. Yeah. premium. <laughs> so, but for my video, we're just gonna sit down. We're gonna get ready. We're gonna do a little chit chat. Yeah. Okay, so I'm starting yeah. out with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's a matte primer. Uh, if you have oily skin, I have really Ooh. oily skin. This has been, and I have been around the block with primers. This is my favorite one. So really? Block. I've never yeah. heard of that one. That was cool. It's how it's like a stick. Yeah, I like that. All Smashboxes are like the yeah. whatever liquid ones, but no. strongly recommend, guys. Solve some problems. Hmm. Well, What's, oh yeah, that stuff's really good too. You told me about that. I love this. I've talked oh, about this so much. It's the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. Seriously amazing. Like, it smells good. It smells like tea tree oil, apparently, or something oh, really good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Wait. it's a primer. You're welcome to try it. And it just Ooh, it, it like fills in your, not fills in your pores. No, that's, that's disgusting. Kind of like, but it kind of does that. It's like silicone. It's like blurry. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Wow. And some people say it's not really good for your face, but like, I just like how it my makeup applies when I put it on. Put on my Sunday Riley Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. Before, it's the best thing ever. It like actually does really brighten up your skin. Oh wait, I'm, I was thinking about the squeeze this. What's wrong? <laughs> I'm like not here right now, I don't think. We haven't had coffee yet, guys, so. Well, Kenzie did, but. Yeah, I have no excuse. Not enough. Yeah, not enough. Also, I wanted to say thank you to you guys because I posted an everyday makeup routine and I was saying like I don't have a good concealer I like that like covers up blemishes and a lot of you guys commented the Tarte Shape Tape and my amazing assistant Callie gave me hers because she never uses it, so. And I've been using it the last few days and I really like it. Like, it's like a doe-footed wand it's and it's like favorite too. I tried it for my under eyes one time and I didn't like it, but I do like it for the blemishes. I'm yeah, here for it. It creases too much in the under eye. Yeah, it's just like too heavy for under eye almost. Who did I tell yesterday oh, I that did. I'm gonna wear the It Cosmetic CC Cream on my wedding day? Oh, That's you told both of us, yeah. That's how strongly I feel about it. She was like, I'm pretty sure I'll be wearing it on my wedding. And I was like, honestly, I, it's I, good. I probably will be. Like, it's very it's, glowy. It's my favorite thing ever. Another oily skin staple is the oh, Too Faced. Yes. Really speaking oh, to I my like, I love that. oily gals out there. <laughs> you look so <laughs> it looks like a concealer mustache. <laughs> um, I do look funny. This is the Too Faced Peach Oops. Perfect Matte Foundation. I also like the regular ones, but again, in terms of like face getting greasy throughout the day, this is a good addition. My I skin has been very dry lately and I'm getting concerned. But maybe it's because the weather's changing and we love a weather change. Oh, that probably is. It feels like fall. Mm -hmm. Kinsey yeah. and I live in LA and... Wow, it's you know, incredible here. Not really fall there, I wouldn't no. call it. I know. I was getting worried though. I keep saying this, but like, guys, last week it was so hot in here and I was free. Danielle was texting me saying, I've been talking to the leaves and telling them to change. And I'm like, Danielle, it's not that big of a deal. We don't need to, like, I know, but I was like, look they're crazy off. talking to leaves. Like, <laughs> It's just like, you guys better get it together. Like, I need you guys to. better get no, that's the Danielle's thing. by that's herself. The thing is, I know you really were talking to them. I like, literally was like, you guys. <laughs> thing is, like, then, she actually did that. Like, then you were texting yeah, me course. being like, they're starting to change. They've been listening. <gasps> They've been listening. Oh my gosh. Also, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Foundation because I got a spray tan, and this is the only one that's dark enough. A lot of you guys said F Fenty Beauty is what might be making me break out, but like, I don't want to hear that. That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, um, keep your comments to yourself. <laughs> well, I'm always, I my favorite makeup to buy is face makeup. What about you guys? Mine is just lip buy products. Like, yeah, I, don't, yes. I don't venture out ever. I found my things that I like and I don't venture out. True. Like even when brands send stuff, I honestly try like 10% of it and I just give it away. I like things that like you don't have to wear like any, I know serum isn't a makeup, but like yeah. I like skincare, and then I like lip balms. You like stuff that enhances your natural Yeah, beauty. like that isn't like makeup necessarily. Yeah, but. Kenzie literally will like go out and she just puts on serum and lipstick and or like lip And I fill my eyebrows. And then she just looks like a queen. What is Thank that? You. Tell us, what is that? This? Multi-use sculpting concealer. I've the never seen that. The concealers? 
Why is that so large? large? Did you not get this package? They no. said Jumbo Edition. Shift. Didn't get that. Yeah. My house. Too Faced. It's North Carolina. It's Same. Conceal Contour Highlight Retouch. I use this as like wow. everything, and then I'll use. I have a darker one. So good. Did you Thank put on you. foundation? Oh, you yeah, put I put the CC cream. Wedding day. I'm telling you. Wedding wow. day. And then I have this one, which I actually grabbed the wrong color. Like this is too dark. No. But whatever. I'll make it work. It looks like really crazy. I actually don't want to do this on camera because it looks really crazy. <laughs> I love how even with but, the pillow, I'm still short. I know. Like, I'm like looking over, like, hey Morgan. I'm really trying. For concealer, I'm using. Um, I feel like this is a really underrated concealer, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Concealer. Oh, it is. Um, oh. The little, there's like a little inner core there that's mm. made of, I can't tell you what, but it's moisturizing. I, you guys know, so. I love the Maybelline. That's my all-time favorite concealer. It's so good. Like, I hope they never, like, discontinue it, because I don't know what I'll do. I've tried the everything. The thought of that makes me want to order, like, 15 of them on Amazon. Account. I know, I know. Sometimes when I go to the store, I'm like, should I buy two? Because I used to love the Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer, and then they discontinued it wow. for a while. I don't know if it's back. Next, I'm just setting my foundation and concealer with the Too Faced Born This Way powder. Just the translucent one. Okay, this might look psycho, so let's act like it's not happening. Yes. Because <laughs> I, I, after I do it, I fix it with concealer, so... I'm just pretend. I just got the Bare Minerals Bare Pro um, powder foundation, um, and I bought this little guy off Amazon. Actually, I really do like buying face products. Like, I don't know. I'm just like, what can make my face look the most flawless? You know? Yeah. Like that's what I want to know. I don't really buy eyeshadow. Oh, yeah, I haven't bought eyeshadow. Oh, I don't buy like eyeshadow. Oh no. I don't really wear eyeshadow. I mean, you only need so I much just, eyeshadow. Uh, I'll put bronzer. Oh, no. over I grab a palette like when I get new palettes and stuff, and I go for the same like color Colors. shades yeah. as every other one. I'm like, okay, we need to narrow the eyeshadow market. It's <laughs> always something you would say. We need to narrow the eyeshadow, eyeshadow market. Mar <laughs> Marker? What did I just say? I don't know. Wait, we need to find a uh, question. Marlis. Kenzie, give a preview of your video. Give a <gasps> hit us with a hot seat question. Um, that you also have to answer. Okay, what's one... Okay, I'll answer. What is one thing that you want people to say about you in regards to, like, the relationships you have with people? So, as far as, like, do friendships and relationships. So, like, what would you want people to say about you in regards to, like, how you are with your friends and then with <laughs> boyfriends? How'd you just pull just that out of your one 100? <laughs> no, that's, like, my new favorite one, but I haven't asked that many times. Like, so, like, what would I hope that you guys say about me to other people? Is that what you mean? Yeah, do you want me to, like, would say... Like, let's say, like, what would you hope, like, if you were dating someone that you... What someone would say about, like, you and that person? together and oh. then you oh. and a friend together oh oh plot twist <laughs> um, a lot. i would want like if it was a relationship i have i would want people to say like they're very inclusive like they don't make you feel like the third wheel yeah. um they're just like they're so in love <laughs> they love to be around each other i would hope it wouldn't be well to say what i hope wouldn't be said you know how like when someone, like, some friends start talking to someone and they just, like, abandon. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like she like, still hangs out with her friends. Yeah, you know. Yeah. On bronzer action. Same. Nars Laguna. And Ohula is a good one, too. Am I answering this? Yeah. yeah. Are we just doing relationships or are we doing friendships? Oh, friendships. friendships? I don't okay, for relationships, I would want them to say that, like, we make each other better. It's in the back of the light. It's my favorite thing. Using the blush from it. Smile to find the apples of your cheeks. <laughs> What are you? That wasn't funny. Yeah. I honestly wasn't listening. <laughs> Smile. Or my say. mouth is right in your ear. How can you not hear me? <laughs> I was thinking. I was with my thoughts. She was thinking about Wait, her hot seat. Wait, to slightly pivot with your your question. To slightly pivot. Because this time thinking about it is like, you know when people compliment you or like say things about like, what's your favorite thing that they say about you? I feel like this is the same thing as like your question, just differently. But like, yeah. so I'm thinking about it and then like birthday cards, like college friends and like whatever people wrote to me, my favorite thing people say was always like, about like confidence and like not being afraid of like just anything yeah. or like doing things. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like that's what you want people to say about you. Well, that's like that's yeah, my. That's fa I can't think that's of. Any I don't know. I in guess. regards to friendships just, with me, like my answer is that I would want people to just say that like I was there, like I'm just there. Yeah, that makes sense. Not like I'm just there. I, I just mean like I'm there. Yeah. When people need me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not like she's just there. <laughs> <laughs> what did everyone want to be as a kid? When I'm I was thinking about this because I listen to your podcast. <laughs> listen to Gals on the Go. On the go. <laughs> um, when I was a kid, I wanted to be an artist or a rock star. Yeah, I, and I, I wanted to be Hannah Montana. Yeah. I, like Brooke, <laughs> wanted to be a meteorologist. I never met a, another aspiring child meteorologist before. That's the funniest thing unreal. to me. I'm serious. I met the guy from the Weather Channel, like the main dude. Oh my god, you Jim Cantori thrive. from uh, Storm Stories. Me and my dad used to watch it every week, 9 and 8 p.m. <laughs> 
I did a project on extreme weather, like a oh year long project God, in fourth that's grade. Amazing. I'm low key almost done. Ooh. Same. I'm on my okay. Brows. We're all very fast at doing our makeup. Yeah, we're not like. Thank goodness, none of us are like long getting ready people. No, like, we can get I, ready. I, in, like, I get ready second. in. Kenzie's definitely the fastest. Oh my, gosh. my whole time knowing you, you've always been the first one to get ready. Always. And I'm like that with like anyone. It's not like just. It's not like you guys take a long time. It's that you don't take a long time. It's just that I take like no time at all. Like it's yeah. probably like it's like just, you pick out your outfits so fast. You're like okay. Well, that's because I I always have my outfits like planned out in my head before. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I used to have an idea. Great yeah. brow product is the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. I like it. I'm opening Ooh, it. Eyebrow this, cake. The front is yeah. all foggy. It looks like this. Oh, I, you can clearly tell which color I use. My brows are so simple. I just go, I go on the bottom, I go. So since it's fall, I'm going to be bold and put on some red lipstick. This is called a Big Apple Red um, from Artistry Studio. Oh, I love this. And we actually did a Get Ready With Me on Morgan's channel like last month. And I used this and I was like, um, I want it. And then they Their sent it to me. Really Their lip products are oh, amazing. And I just feel like being bold, you know? So, and it's just so nice. It's like a lip liner. Oh my God, let me just talk while I'm putting this on. Dun, 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 dun. How many pumpkin spice lattes has everyone had so far? None. None? She doesn't like pumpkin spice lattes. Mm -mm. I, I didn't them. like them until this year, honestly. But I also just like I've always I just loved was them. kind of against them because they were so like basic. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I've They're always... not. But I actually don't mind them. Like I actually tried it the other day or like last year, and <laughs> <laughs> the other day or last year, and they weren't that bad. But I just I don't know. So yeah, I used no, to like, I like be them. super against getting them iced. I was like, why did you do that? It's oh, fine. I don't do get that. Yeah. No, but I've never gotten them iced. I've always gotten pumpkin spice lattes though. And then Christina made me get. An ice one, and I actually like it. So yeah, I thought it was too basic, and I just didn't want to be like that. But then recently, I went to Starbucks with a bunch of my guy friends who were like 25 to 29, <laughs> and they were ordering them, and I was like, all right, that's funny. Yeah. It passes the test because they are good. I used to go every single day before I like got my license. My dad would take me to school every day. We go to Starbucks for school, and my favorite wow, time was the fall that's a season. Lot. I know, every morning. My dad what a would guy. take me every morning before driver's ed. It was in the winter and I'd get a peppermint mocha frappuccino. That you got awesome. a frappuccino in the winter? Oh, what kind of monster I are don't you? I get hot, that's Kenzie. So weird. Well then that's weird that you just said you don't, didn't you just say? Well I do now, like for those only. It's only when I want to feel, uh, like in LA if it's a little chilly and I just want to feel fall, yeah, you know? I, feel oh, I love that color. Thank you. My little made me try the salted caramel mocha frappuccino. Just good. Did you just vlog about that or something? Yeah, I think yeah. I did. I think I said it in my podcast. That's what it was. Oh, true, true friend. Yeah. Um, it's Number really one darn tasty and <laughs> really darn tasty. I really want it right now. But I'm gonna take him to like a local Athens coffee shop today because it's really good and it's tasty. We're all we ready. did it, fam! Yay! Yay. We're speedy. <laughs> that is I know we're speedy. Get ready with me. So hopefully this only took up a little bit of time of your life. Of your life. And, uh, <laughs> so check out their videos down below. We're gonna film them after. We're a little off center. You're right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> hey guys. Love you guys so much. Happy fall. Love them. Subscribe to their channels. You guys have anything to say? Sorry, I just touched here. It's okay. Um. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Love to Danielle guys. if you're yeah. coming from our channel. And yeah. yeah. Go dogs. Can we go to go dogs? Go dogs. Oh, I forgot. We're a Tar Heel. Recording podcast episodes. Listen yes, to them. we're recording some podcast episodes. All right, bye guys. See you later.